We're gonna react to more Tommy Lion. Where is everybody? Tess has gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. On it. I stopped to take a leak. Just as I was finishing up, what do I see? A big old bull moose staring. Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey, Tyler Ronan. Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. How about Tom? He busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's Dang. death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. I guess that makes sense. But we need to know what really happened. You deserve that. And I'm sorry if some folks have been less than helpful, but you've got to give people time. Especially Tessa. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... 
don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf. Right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Hold on, let me count this. Three, six. That's six, 12, 14. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay, sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? Oh, six, I meant six. Five bottles? See? You got cocky. How do you know I'm wrong? There's no way you can see them from over there. I told you, I was over there earlier. Definitely more bottles than that. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. I think there are six. Oh, My shit. bad. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. I counted bad. I counted wrong. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit, but <laughs> I like it, for real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker, I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. 
Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. Oh, but the plushies. Where's the box of plushies? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Uh, cool. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, Damn, overshot it. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Boom. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Come on, come on. Pick up. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. Boom! <laughs> Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, we'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. Which clan? Octopus clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? Yeah, we're pretty tight-knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. I was really close to my Uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, yeah. Of course. And I'm done. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronan. You mean the OG Ronan? I was born first, you know? Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, 
You were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be, especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm, fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell, too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I've shoot, got shoot. way better compliments than that. Why did that I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Here we are. Lake View Cemetery. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house, cool? There's that cookie tree. So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? Uh, Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. <coughs> she loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of a ball. Here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Yes. Why does it sound familiar? 
Yazzie Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. He always... De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Do you remember where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember sticking. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going. <laughs> Allison, come back. <sighs> oh. <Only. sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but... I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy Owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. No dice. Why can't I remember? Expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe?
When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Could've done better. I say could've done better. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. Rest I had pretty pieces, much boy. given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tessa's thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell.
Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why <laughs> I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? Sam. You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. Let's get it. Come on, go in. Oh. I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. What that's happening? What the flip? What the heck? What's that? Tyler, are you alright? Uh, I was in the barn. Stay there. I got it. What the heck was that? A guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why 
would someone try to burn down our barn? But you're sad, man. I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Did he really have to smash everything? He went looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. Asshole even dumped the drawers. He really turned this place upside down. At least you were spared. I guess we know how he made the hole. Step back. I'll be fine. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. And preferably without destroying the box. Yes. Yeah, that'll break a lock. Let's not waste time. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. I need to see you again. I know that sounds that I don't want that sound. I don't want you to be a shit of God that we go from Dallas Parts of Hell. No, this isn't right, and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same, heart symbol. Yes, but I bought you a little something for the next one, but I can't wait to see you help. I'm telling you. Fuck. And I'm sorry you're That's in the situation. Rough. I know you feel like me a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday. This, this right guy now. tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. Yeah, to Even though she wanted to keep us. I'm worried about you. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. 
But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? This is where I trip. The Mad Hunter! Wait, there was someone here that night? In the woods? No, it was just... I, I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? Damn, he ran straight for it. No stops. No turns. He was on a mission. Is there someone over there? The Mad Hunter! What? No. That... That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night... I... Thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods. But I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe. Hold on, do you feel that? Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna end here for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.